There is always an open mind to speak out for our opinion. Something that we would like to talk about as a threat. Have any suggestions, comments or opinions on Singapore public bus industry? Welcome to Hashtag Debate! On today's episode of Hashtag Debate, we'll be spicing up a little more hot into this topic. Last week's documentary show 9999 on TV Tigger, where it shows a segment of Ops Compliant. Terminal Cautious is one of two factories in Johor that will be temporarily shut down during the investigation period as law order due to violation of Perinta Kawalan Pergerakan 3.0 or PKP. So here is what happened. Jamila controls are allowed to be operated as per SOP under PKP factory rules and regulations nationwide with stated limited capacity of workers. Unfortunately, Jamila operates 10% more workers than what it was supposed to operate under national SOP, which is considered as violating the law. Not only that, they did not set up the master data QR code, a Malaysian version of Trace Together, and no temperature taking for all workers daily. This was ambushed by Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia or KKM, Majlis Pembandaran Kulai or Kulai Town Council and Jabatan Keselamatan dan Kesihatan Pekerjaan Negeri Johor Daru Takzim or Department of Occupational and Safety Health of Johor alongside with Jabatan Immigrasi Malaysia or JIM to screen all foreign workers with their current work permit. Therefore, during the closure in order period, all work-related activities must stop by the law order until the law gives Jamilan the green light to operate back. This includes the production and delivery of buses in Singapore, which the remaining Mac A95 Batch 5 buses is currently stuck in Johor. Which made us thinking, will this be the end of its reputation and company image? And what were the causes that made Jamilan to run 10% more workers than what it was being stated by the law? Jamila has been building buses to other countries, not just Singapore, but also building for South Africa, Australia, and Hong Kong with different varieties of bus brands with one bodywork by themselves. As Jamila is the licensed company to build a bus bodywork for men buses alongside with Scania, as both are the majority bus brands that we know, it is also to give the cheapest rate in Asia too. But with the recent news, the thieving and delay issue will be the main problem for customers, especially Singapore. Since the pandemic, Jamila focused to build buses for Singapore first, followed by Hong Kong, then Australia. The deadline that was given by the customer, like LTA, need to meet with expectations so that they can operate these buses in a short period of time. Sounds scarce, isn't it? Since then, LTA has three tender contracts as a production batch. Man A95 3 door with 50 units, Man A95 batch 5 with 111 units, 40 electric buses, BYD and Linker, CRRC 12 demonstrator, and BYD double deck. As what we know on how does this work for new buses in Singapore that you need a certain deadline for these buses to be on revenue service even after inspection and test drive plus finalization which she also includes in the deadline mid too. Not sure if this were the cause Terminal Force to increase manpower to build a lot of the buses as much as they can. During this pandemic, even they have broke the law. Even during the pandemic where sectors were financially struggle, customers around the world still approached Terminal to build buses for them due to cheaper scale they can lose in their own budget and estimated time to complete plus pre-inspection and delivery. Now, we as customers can't blame them for not speeding up its process as this has already been written in the law SOP that was already been given to all factories nationwide. Yes, we do expect some delays due to lack of manpower and have other things to do but not by putting us as first priority that makes an unfair scene to other customers who had been waiting to receive their buses for long. 
now that the message has passed to their customers? Will this be affect their company image that shown as an example during the pandemic? Well, either Integral or other competitors charge its way at a higher price due to its best quality, especially in this pandemic where the cheapest rate gives the best price for customers to afford. However, once everything going to be tarnished, so does your business and in the end, shut down for good. Surprisingly, Delta 3.895 has 100% completely de- delivered, but not the batch files. So, is this the blue ribbon will ask Terminal to prioritize their 3.895? Or worse, prioritize all of their buses first than other customers' order? So, how much more delay will the customer need to face with their orders thanks to the law order? And will this affect the reputation of Terminal to their regular customers worldwide? Since Singapore and Terminal were the longest regular customers, with orders via Terminal for the past 15 years trade and more. With more orders of manned buses with both U5 and 6 with 3 capacity, this gives a very large order that Terminal had ever done for Singapore buses. Leave your comment down below. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Hashtag Debate. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, yeah, yeah.